Hello Formula 1 fans, uh, I don't get to do too many F1 videos because frankly I like road cars more or things with enclosed bodies more, but I still like, you know, F1 cars and if I can get one at a decent price like this, I will do so. So this is a Toyota TF107 from 2007, it is made by Kyosho and it's got this beads collection which means it's like a upper, more premium Kyosho compared to their blister pack models. Yeah, by the way, if you guys really like F1 cars, in my subscriptions is a uh, channel called Silver's, Silver apostrophe S, and he very often, you know, does videos on F1 models, and not just 164, so you might want to check out his channel there. Okay, well, it's licensed by Toyota, but sadly this car won absolutely no races. In 2007, uh, Kimi Raikkonen and Ferrari pretty much won, I guess. Uh, there's no sensitive parts on this that I can see, so I'm going to... I'm not sure if I recall seeing quality control stickers on Kyosho's, but maybe with this, these beads collections that might be the case. Even the normal ones, Kyosho's have pretty good quality control, so whatever factory they're using, they, they do a good job. Alright, a couple photos here. This is powered by a 2.4 liter V8 naturally aspirated, making around 750 horsepower. And then the standard stuff, you know, carbon fiber body, double wishbone, carbon fiber, you know, s suspension. So pleasantly, since there's no tobacco sponsorship on this that I can tell, this uh, thing has most of the tampo prints here done by Kyosho. They're not decals, I don't think. I think everything here is a tampo print, so that's that's nice. Let's start with these wheels here. All right, so the Kyoshos from blister packs have ax axles exposed, so these do not, obviously. So that's one advantage, I guess, that the beads collection gets you regular looking wheels and then also it's nice to see that the bridgestone printing is on here as well okay and then yeah all sorts of tampo printing looks nice there's a little black here even maybe that's a vent of some sort going to the front here we have this funky wing look at that thing but naturally it's a little thick being a, a 164 scale model but I think they did a decent enough job with the plastic that they could. Alright, some weird pods there, I have no idea what those are about. There's even printing on the suspension arms, and it looks like the suspension arm might have a carbon texture on it. Well that's pretty neat. They molded in a bunch of dots to give it like a carbon weave pattern. You can see this is pretty loose. This is trapping the steel axle. This steel axle is running between the tires. But uh, at least they, they, they covered up the ends. Access ports. Some sort of protruding thing there. Well, 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 look at this. Hold on. Maybe that is a decal. See, the wrinkliness makes me think that's a decal because this paint's smooth here and here. So, I think that could actually be a decal. So I'm mistaken. Hmm. Well. Yeah, that's a decal. It's covering up that gap. So that's unfortunate. Well, I guess it's fortunate that in this case the model looks okay. But uh, who knows, in the future those decals might crack off or something like that. Oh, this is rare. This is actually a driver. You know, the helmet, it's got printing on or some sort of, I don't know if it's a decal or a print or what, but that's nice. Even the body is suit as well. So, most Kyoshos do not contain humanoid figures, but this one does. So that's another reason why beads are a little bit better, besides, you know, the clear box. Alright, nice that it tells you what it is, what the scale is, and who made it. it. just doesn't tell you when it was made. There's a little bit more of this patterning. Now there's a texture molded in. You can hear it. So it gives it that carbon fiber look. But this is press fit together up here, but screwed together here. Hmm. Alright. 
even more of that texturing up in there no printing of those LEDs though there that would have been nice to see I think for a beach collection it should have it uh, some extra molding flash from the, that molding process printing on the wing and this thing here the exhaust pipes I'm guessing black paint for the heat shielding this thing's floating in the air this thing's kinda got air passing through it so there's a lot of detail actually know that air isn't really passing through it a little bit is but not much hmm all right and then a bunch of wings up here and then maybe that's a TV pod or a camera pod or something well it's interesting and then it actually does roll because it does have those steel axles oh, sorry my camera's low so I'm always hitting it with my hands so let's uh, pull out a couple other F1 cars it's possible this might be the most modern F1 car I have in my collection Japanese one I have is a Honda Super Aguri SA05 from the 2006 season. I don't think that won anything either. Uh, well, maybe it did, but it surely didn't win any championships. I don't know if there's ever been a Japanese brand to win an F1 championship. Please leave a comment if there was. Alright, the next one is a 2005 McLaren MP4-20. This one is a 2006 Ferrari 248. I think it says 248 F1 on the bottom there. So someone commented that this actually has the tobacco sponsorship on it. I think these little Nike swoops are supposed to be like West cigarettes maybe. So I don't know if those are added on by someone that owned this before me or if those were on there from Kyosho. Uh, I don't know. Well, if you look at these other Kyoshos, actually this is a nice one too. There's no exposed axles on this Honda. So this could have been a beads collection one as well. But this one, you see this, this is a blister pack one. It has the steel axle ends. What about the McLaren? Yeah, the McLaren also has steel axle ends. So McLaren and Ferrari are the regular blister type ones and so that's the one of the ways that they I guess downgrade the price and the detail but you'll notice all of them have printing on the tires and the tires all have you know the treads so they're all good in that respect but yeah these two have drivers so I guess no exposed axles and drivers are what make them beads. Oh, and also these two have mirrors. These two do not. So there are definitely some advantages to the beads collection. Well, sadly, Toyota never a top level F1 constructor. But uh, hopefully they learn stuff. Hopefully whatever they learn racing around sooner or later trickles down to some of their road cars. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Please leave a comment if you know. Uh, so I appreciate you guys watching today. And uh, might be a while till I get another F1 car. So again, check out Silver's channel. But sooner or later I'll put another video up on this subject. So hopefully I'll see you there. Bye.